Hey, what's going on guys? It's Ryan and today I've got a brand new video for you. Now this one is going to be a little bit different. Now I know I always record mods and I do like the top five mods videos, but I got a comment on one of my recent videos where they were asking, you know, how exactly do you place your load order? How exactly do you set up your load order? Because my game seems to always run super smoothly whenever I'm doing the top five mods episodes. So basically in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to correctly align your load order so that nothing freezes and all your mods will get, you know, their full potential and nothing will get corrupted or anything. Now, as you can see, there are a lot of mods that I have here in my library and I only have used up to 500 megabytes of my free space. I have a 4.5 gigabytes of free space still and uh, it doesn't matter how much free space you have, you could only have one gig left. You could have an entire four gigabyte like mod like you can have as much as you want and I will teach you guys exactly how to set these up so basically the ones that I like to use like cheat room and free crafting unlimited shouts and free camera that's basically just for like recording the top five mods episodes and uh, basically how the load order works is what you're gonna need is the mods that do overhauls like let's say it is an overhaul of you know the graphics so like the graphics pack if you had the graphics pack it would go up towards the top because overhauls overhaul like every single line of code in the game so if you have if you have a mod that is loaded before the overhaul that changes let's say here, as an example, let's say Elven Swords. You have an Elven Sword and uh, you download a mod that changes your Elven Sword into a cooler looking one. But then you download a Weapons Overhaul that changes every weapon in the game. So basically what you're doing there is the Elven Sword is changing and then you're overhauling it so that, you know, it's trying to change the vanilla Elven Sword, but it can't because it's not there anymore. You know what I mean? So like... It would corrupt your save in that aspect if you have it before the overhaul. So any overhauls that you have, whether it be a music replacer or a graphics pack or, you know, just anything that overhauls anything in the game, just make sure that it goes towards the top. And such for patches as well, if you have like, I'm pretty sure if we can find the unofficial, there it is, the unofficial Skyrim patch, it'll tell you exactly what to do. If you, installation requirements, there it is. After installing this mod, move it all the way to the top of your load order. Don't let anything go before it. See, most mods that are overhauls will tell you in the description, hey, make sure that this is at the top of the load order so that it doesn't corrupt any of your saves. So any, like I just said right there, any overhauls, make sure they are at the top of your load order and nothing will freeze for you. Now, uh, that being said, most mods also come with requirements. I'm using Beautiful Mistress as an example because I had to have Beautiful Mistress for my last uh, top five mods where I downloaded a follower that was a girl. Now, as you can see here, it should say load order right there. Like I'm saying, uh, some of the mods actually come with, you know, what you're going to need. See, it says load order, and then it says all the required mods that you need. You need Apache hair, KS hair, this light, adorable females, a shower, follower faces, and stuff like that. So, it, it'll tell you the load order of, you know, the mods that you need. But if the mod doesn't give you a requirement or doesn't give you a, uh, you know, a preset of where it needs to go in the load order, such as... Let's say the cheat room. Does the cheat room say it? Let's let's check. Let's scroll down to the bottom here. Um, no, it doesn't tell you where to put it. And I guess it doesn't really matter because it just adds to the game. It doesn't change anything. But if you do have something that, you know, changes the way that the game works, make sure that you have a you know a kind of understanding of exactly the order that you should put them in see like as a good example here we have map markers unlocked and then a quality world map those are my two mods that i have there i use map markers unlocked so i can travel anywhere in the world without having to you know just go walk there it's easier and it allows me to record things fast and then we have a quality world map which changes the color of the map and makes it more nice now i don't think it would do much um i don't think it would change much if I had the quality world map first, but if you think about it, it's changing the world map first and then it gives me all the map markers. So that could cause some issues, but if it gives me all the map markers first and then it changes what the map looks like, it doesn't have to add anything after that to the map. So in my standpoint, I feel like this way would be better if, if that makes any sense. I'm trying to explain it in the best way I can and uh, if it's a little confusing, I'm sorry, but this is just the way that you know I look at things. Another thing that I'd like to mention is, as you can see right here, I have Eternal Sunshine, which clears the weather in Skyrim and makes it really nicer out 
outside. And then I have surreal lighting and enhanced night. Surreal lighting makes the uh, the outside during the day really awesome looking, and enhanced night makes the nighttime look really awesome as well. But since I have eternal sunshine first, that means surreal lighting can work. If I had it the other way around, it would change the way the outside looks and then it would make it so it's brighter so there wouldn't really be much of a change there because it would just convert it back to the vanilla again so make sure that if you have anything that like eternal sunshine which i really like i, I like how it makes it completely daytime and super bright outside all the time um Make sure you have that enabled first and then surreal lighting so it can give you a nice smooth run. Now mods that are considered to be just add-ons to the game like player carry weight increased, ring of air walking, signet of uh, Dwemer mastery, these are just things that get added into the game. So there isn't a code before, it just pretty much adds an entirely new set of code to the game. So you don't really have to have a set area on where that has to go basically can go anywhere in your load order as long as it's not before an overhaul so if it's after an overhaul it can go anywhere you want let's say i had an overhaul at the very top and i put it one after it it would not make any difference then if i had it all the way at the bottom or all the way you know in the center or something like that so it, it all depends on your preference really i like to keep all the mods that i like have 24 7 all in one little jumble here and then the mods that are in my, that are going to go in my top fives i keep in the list down here and then like funny mods like this mr crab's laughing mud crab thing i'll just enable it and i'll leave it wherever it is or deadly cabbages and stuff like that stuff that that'll just make me laugh i'll just keep you know anywhere i want because it's just adding to the game it's not changing anything in the game so they can pretty much go wherever you want now something to keep note about you know downloading mods in skyrim is if you go down to i think i might have passed it if you get on to latest, make sure that you are really careful with downloading mods. Let me see if I can find one that has it. Um, sometimes there are mods that look like this right here. See this right here? Just It just has a, a logo for Bethesda. Make sure that you're really careful with these. It just says WIP. It doesn't give you anything. It doesn't tell you where it is. It doesn't tell you what it does. Make sure that you guys really don't download these. I would never download these for anyone. And as you can see, it does have 22 favorites, so that kind of will make you think, oh, maybe it's good. Don't ever download any of these mods here. There's less loot here. Reduces the loot you obtain from treasure chests. Like, it doesn't really tell you much. There's no picture, so it's not really a credible mod like you shouldn't you shouldn't download these because in fallout 4 i don't know if you guys were aware of this but in fallout 4 they have the same exact mod system where you can just download mods and stuff like that and pretty much anyone can upload their own mods and anyone can do anything they want with the mods now basically what people were doing is they were uploading mods that would corrupt your xbox files like they would actually get into your xbox and make it so you couldn't turn on your xbox anymore or so all your saves on xbox would get corrupted so whenever you're downloading mods make sure that you do not download the these ones right here the ones that look like that especially under the latest category make sure that there's a thumbnail and it has you know the credits and thanks for the assets and stuff like that and they give credit and there's enough evidence that it's a legit mod make sure you don't just you know click on a mod and it says nothing and download it anyway you know so yeah here's another one here Oh, see, that one you could actually pretty much use there because it doesn't have a thumbnail, but it has, you know, a really nice little uh, description there and it tells you exactly what it does. But in the ones that people will just upload and not give any credit to, this is where it gets a little, like, sketchy on where you want to download your mods. Like, WIP, that tells me nothing. So just make sure you guys are really, really careful with these mods and uh, only download ones that, you know, are look legit and make sure that they are like you know legitimate mods and not you know something that'll corrupt your files i'm not trying to scare anyone here because you know the majority of mods are definitely not going to be ones that corrupt your xbox i just want to let light on a situation where it happened in fallout 4 and people were getting really upset that their saves and their xboxes were getting messed up just because of fallout 4 mods so make sure you guys are careful stay safe when you download mods and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. And if you did, I would appreciate it if you left a like and subscribe if you're new. It helps me out a lot. And let me know future videos that you want to see down in the comments. And make sure you let me know if this video helped you at all for your load orders. And uh, have fun with mods out there. Like I said, hopefully you guys did enjoy. And I will talk to you guys later.